Right, fellas, this is going to be the third day in a row that I share with you absolute bangers, okay? And listen, for today's video, what I want to do is basically walk you over our entire client onboarding automation process, specifically how we use Jotform, Calendly, and ClickUp in order to deliver a flawless automated onboarding process for our clients, while at the same time, of course, helping us reduce churn since that first impression basically knocked their socks off, okay? That being said, guys, I want to stick till the end because I'm going to literally show you how you can get this for free, as well as the step-by-step -step process on how you can install this into your actual company, okay? Now, this is something that we use for agency and coaching clients, but honestly, this is something that you can also use if you run any sort of high-ticket service-based business, okay? First of all, let me walk you through the process, and then I'm going to show you install of every application, how this looks like, okay? So guys, if you run a business, you need to make sales, right? So once you make a sale and once you have money in the bank, what is going to happen is that, of course, you basically receive the payment. And from here, the only manual involvement that is going to happen in this process is the following. First of all, in sending the job from link to your new client. And once this is done, sending that onboarding call link to your new client. Or you can just send one email saying, hey, uh, fill this first and then second. So you would just have to do one action, but you get my point. Basically, the only two things that you manually need to send them is the onboarding form on Jotform and the link to book the onboarding call on Calendly, okay? Let me walk you through the process, guys. You send the onboarding form link so that they can actually submit their information, you gather all of the data, etc., And you have an automation that is going to happen inside of Jotform. Actually, let me just show you here. You can just go, to, you have a, your onboarding form, you have an integration, you set, pair it up with ClickUp. And once you have this ClickUp, what you're going to do is basically uh, create an automated task that is going to be the, name, the client's name inside of a list that you're going to have inside of ClickUp. What we do is that we have, let me show you. What we do is that we have our um, delivery space, we have the client's list, and then every single time that we'll have a new client, once they fill that onboarding form, they get added to this fans list that you see over there, okay? The reason why this is important and the reason why we like to keep information on ClickUp specifically, guys, is because that's where we manage our operations, our project management. Um, in terms of finances, we can actually know how much cash collected we made, if it's an installment plan, how much cash collected we made from that client, in terms of the revenue that is going to be generated by that client. Aside from that, we are going to have the due dates for the next payments and installments, everything, of course, with a separate automation that if you're interested in seeing, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is the first part of the equation. Once we have the actual task created inside of ClickUp, we send this onboarding link that basically, look at this, that basically allows them to book their onboarding call, for example, at whatever time they prefer, and what, we look at what's going to happen. Guys. Once the onboarding call is booked via automation or as Calendly calls them, uh, workflows, they get this email from us. So it's basically uh, welcome to Royland, client's first name, and then it's something just along the lines of hello, Enrique. It's it's really an absolute pleasure to have you with us. Instead of Royland, me and my, my team are absolutely stoked to have you with us, etc. And then basically what we do is that we have all of the links that they need in order to get support, in order to actually join the community, in order to uh, get the course and the program in one single link. Sorry, in one single email, okay? So you can see here, the first thing is come join the private community. So this sends them to the Facebook group, access the training program by clicking here. So that sends them to a course. And then the weekly support calls on their calendar and that gives them access to the actual uh, support calls that we have every single week. And that way, guess what, guys? I don't have to do anything. I just have to accept them inside of the group once they request to join. And number two, um, that's pretty much I need to do, as well as, of course, uh, attend the onboarding calls so that we can set up expectations, etc. Also, if you would be interested in seeing how we typically go up around our onboarding calls, let me know in the comments, okay? Of course, this is just a high level overview. Let's do one by one. So basically, you collect cash, okay? You made $500,000 from your plan. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is that just send in the onboarding form. In this onboarding form, as you guys can see, look at this, guys. It's pretty straightforward. It's basically just we asking for information in details, their full name, what's the name of their business, what's their email, what's their website, what's their phone number. Um, this is important. I always like to ask what would be the best possible outcome of us working together? And I want them to be as bit as detailed as possible because every single month, if I wanted to, or every quarter, if I wanted to, since I work, start working with a client, I can always remind them, hey, remember where you were before? Look at where you are at right now. Maybe they started at zero. Maybe they are now at 25K per month. There's always something to look forward to. And it's always um, just like a, a really nice touch that you can have with your clients. Well, that's the first part. This one is about information and details about the client. The second part is more about information about the business, okay? So 
since we work with marketing agencies and working with B2B coaching and consulting businesses, we ask, hey, are you an agency or an education and learning business? What do you do? So that I can know if they already started their business, what is it that they do specifically? Um, where are they at in terms of revenue? If they have found service to market fit already, which of the following options best describe your current situation? You don't have to exactly copy these exact questions. You just need to make them relevant to whatever it is that you sell, but hopefully you get my point. How have you closed most of your clients in the past? Then I say, hey, please share with us your social media links and handles and follow our account on each so that we can see like the points of leverage that we have once we plug our paid traffic systems. If they have a YouTube channel, how comfortable would you be? Sorry, how comfortable would you feel managing VAs and slash SDRs? So this is how it looks like. These are the questions. And as you can see here, once they finish filling this information, we're going to get a notification inside of ClickUp knowing that the client filled the information. So then we can send them the, the actual Calendly link so that they can book the onboarding call. And it's pretty straightforward. As a matter of fact, all we gotta do is basically send them this link that is going to send them, like I mentioned before, to the onboarding call times. So they basically choose the one that they prefer. So what is going to happen here, let me just show you the actual workflows. So you go to onboarding call. For this call, that is the one that is, of course, the one that we're going to take with the client. They're going to be able to, uh, we set up an, a workflow over here. This is the actual workflow, let me show you. Immediately once the new event is booked, aka once the call, onboarding call is booked, we send an email to the invite. Let me edit it so that you can see it. You see, welcome to Royland. So here's, well, basically a, a nice gesture. And then we say, hey, come join our private community on Facebook, clicking here, access the training program to start taking action by clicking here, add the weekly support calls to your calendar here. Make sure you present yourself when you're inside of the community. Again, I'm, I'm grateful to have you with us. I speak soon, Enrique. Boom. And that's it, guys. That's literally all of the involvement that you're going to need inside of your client onboarding experience. Um, listen, I have, been, I have been in the game for two, three years. I have tried a whole bunch of different things, automations, etc. And this is hands down the one that has worked the best for us. I hope that you actually find it insightful and helpful as it has been for us. It literally changed everything for us. And all I ask from you in exchange is that you like the video, comment, share it with someone if you think that that's going to be appropriate. And in case that you want to get the actual copy paste templates that you can start using for your own coaching or your agency, just go to my Instagram, this is my handle, follow me and send me the word onboarding. That way I will know that you came from this video. And that way you're going to, I'm going to send you the two links so that you can just copy paste them on your agents. Okay. As always, I have a music recommendation. This time is this called, called this song called Pienso by Kilua97. So let me know your thoughts also on Instagram if you like the song. Okay. That being said, guys, I hope that you found this one helpful and see you guys in the next one.